So here we are on Vatsim in Krakow uh, for a very short hop over to Bratislava and you see this fluent and, and very distant appearing impression of the projection. So why projection? Because it's so cool. You look out of the window and you just do not look at a monitor. You even see reflections of the avionics instruments in the cockpit windows. Having said that, there are three arguments for monitors. They are cheaper, the picture quality is much better and they are far easier to set up. You don't need warping. So when I started to think about the projection, I had some questions in my head uh, where I didn't find any answers on YouTube or explain.org or so. I used Immersive Designer Pro to familiarize myself a bit with the topic, but it didn't really end in a proper planning. I choose 4m80 for the diameter. 4m80 seems to be much better in regards to the crap effect than a smaller like 4m diameter. It seemed that many folks used 220 degrees of projection area. However, when I changed the projectors to only do 180 degrees, the picture quality became much better. By moving the projectors closer to the screen, I had another very pleasant side effect. The individual pixels were much harder to identify. Let's talk about the screen. Four of these elements make the whole grid for the whole screen. Step one, create the template. How do I do that? So I picked a string and a pencil and drew the diameter of 4.8 meters on a piece of wood and cut the template. For this element, you need four curved pieces and 12 vertical posts. My son helped me to cut the total of 48 posts. As surface, I used HDF. That's the stuff that you have in the back of furniture. Make sure you use a laser level to put your screen perfectly horizontal in your room. The gaps between the plates were filled, sanded, and then the whole thing was primed and then colored with two-step light gray screen color. Projectors. You need three absolutely identical projectors. I tried to get away with second-hand projectors. Doesn't work. Too much difference in brightness, contrast and color. I put them simple on aluminum bars. Put it not below the ceiling but on its own posts so that I have no vibration from the ceiling above my sim. I just use the keystone correction within the projectors. I try to achieve exact the overlap that I had calculated before in my assumptions of the projection. The manuals of Fly Elise for Immersive Display Pro and Calibration Pro are very comprehensive, but I struggled with a general understanding and also the general setup of the PCs, how to actually do the warping. So let me first explain why you have columns and horizontal lines. Or even more important, how many of those you should assign. Each projector is divided by maybe 6 to 10 or 11 vertical columns. As you see, column number 7 as well as column number 13 are not only assigned to one projector but are covered by both projectors. In reality you will experiment with the amount of blending area. Here you see my first attempt and the area was much too small. While you probably don't need a full three subcolumns, one full number column for the blending area. Really important, I didn't do that in the beginning. Mark the distance between the columns precisely on your screen with markers. You take the total length of your visual screen or the circumference and divide it by the amount of columns that you want to use. 
That's the distance between these markers. You need two PCs. They are connected very easily with Bonjour. But you certainly have a client where you operate the mouse and do the manipulation while the mathematics are running on the main PC with your graphic board that is connected to the projectors. Here you see me dragging point number three and you see the impact, the result, to the grid on the big screen. Make sure you read the manual and remember the modifier keys which lets you fine trim those points. When you're done and the test pictures look pretty good, you will export three ProCalib files and the X-Plane monitor settings. You enter the values for field of view as well as lateral and vertical offset into the X-Plane 11's monitor setting. And of course the ProCalib files are imported into Immersive Display Pro. So let's see which questions did I not answer. So the impact on the frames was really really small. Um, so it's in every case no issue. Size of screen I think you saw how wide it is. I made it up almost to the ceiling so that no light spills into the projection. I was a bit worried in regards to HDMI cables uh, as, I, as I experienced jitter effects on large screens when I hooked them up to explain. So I invested in proper HDMI cables and that works really, really well. Thank you.